Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas all! I'm back with another uh, cheap laptop that I picked up the other day. And now I need an extension cord. And unlike the uh, Dell computer, this one has uh, working speakers. Um, it is also a little bit quicker and has a bigger screen. It's a uh, first generation mobile i7 processor with uh, four cores and hyper threading. But unfortunately the uh, internal fan makes a whole lot of noise when I whip the uh, processor. So I think it's probably a good idea to open up the laptop and blow out all of the dust and hopefully the uh, fan doesn't have to go into overdrive to keep things uh, cool. It will also uh, allow me to look at the fan and uh, take some measurements and hopefully I can find a uh, replacement. Alright, let's get a screwdriver and start this operation. Shut down. By the way, this is a uh, Fujitsu laptop. And for some reason it has a uh, Norwegian keyboard. But these extra knackerbrot keys, they don't really bother me. I'm glad it's uh, not French or Belgium where they have an uh, Azerty keyboard for some fucked up reason. It's probably a good idea to take out the battery and then uh, press the on off button to get all of the uh, remaining power out of the laptop. Alright, let's open up this uh, patient. Oh, it was already missing a screw for the uh, hard drive compartment. There's the King Fast Drive that uh, I also installed um, in that Dell laptop. I tried to fix last month. Here on the side are the uh, PCM CIA cards. And there's a lot of dust bunnies in here. And these are, I think these are cleaning holes for the uh, ventilator. I never had a laptop with uh, these kind of openings. I can probably blow out most of the uh, dust like this. But I want to have a look inside. So let's start screwing. And this here is probably where the uh, memory sits. It uses a different screw. So I should make a mental note of that. It's already feeling a bit warm. My magnet on a stick is still uh, missing. But this uh, flashlight also has a magnet on the back. Unfortunately, not strong enough. Maybe this one works better. No luck. Well, it will fall on the floor eventually. The CD-ROM drive can uh, be removed. I might uh, replace this with a uh, hard drive caddy one day if the laptop uh, works as expected.
this hard drive is a little bit thinner than uh, the original one so it is uh, flapping up and down a little bit but these things are so light I don't think it will be a problem Okie dokie, I think I got them all. Let's see if I can uh, remove the back panel without uh, breaking anything. So I finally managed to uh, get the backside removed and it wasn't that hard. I just uh, forgot one little screw. So basically I screwed myself there. So this laptop has uh, two ventilators. The small one is probably for the video card and the big one for the uh, processor. And there's lots of dust on here. So I better fill up the uh, uh, compressor tank. But uh, I will not make you hear that. The compressor tank is filled up so let's start uh, blowing. Okay, I think that's clean enough. Um, now I'm going to take some measurements from these ventilators and hopefully I can find replacements. But maybe uh, the problem is uh, fixed. These look easy enough to replace. There's more dust on the inside than I uh, expected. So I think I will do some more blowing. I have no idea how, uh, how common these laptop ventilators are. How many different models there are uh, in existence. Looks like I need my pocket knife again. one now the other one so I can clean them a little bit better and uh, measure them The little one has a metal plate on the uh, underside. Here are both of the uh, little ventilators after I took them out for better cleaning. Um, this one is made by uh, Delta Electronics and this one is uh, made by uh, Toshiba. The big one is 12 millimeters thick about 6 centimeters wide and 5 and a half centimeters deep and the little one is about 8 and a half millimeters deep A bit more than uh, 50 millimeters wide and four and a half 
centimeters deep. And both of these fans have uh, only two screws on the opposite sides. No idea how hard it will be to find uh, replacements, if uh, necessary. The problem might have been uh, fixed when I uh, put things uh, back together. Or uh, if I'm unlucky, the whole laptop is uh, fucked up beyond repair. We'll see. Let's uh, screw this thing back together. Okay, I think it's time to close up the patient. You can hear that? That's another rooster that started uh, crowing. One day I will catch him and he will have the same fate as the other ones. Death to them all! Because I don't want to have any more chickens. Shut the fuck up. I needed to use a little bit of force to get it uh, seated around the uh, um, audio jacks and uh, what's the other one? A 3094 uh, fire wire port. But I think I got it. So it's time to start screwing. Um, I got two screws left and that small one for the uh, memory door. Let's see if this one fits on here, because that one was missing. Yeah, that's definitely not the right type of screw. So I will put it back in its place and see if I have something smaller for the uh, hard drive bay cover.
battery is a lot better than uh, the one that was in uh, the Dell laptop because that one didn't do anything and now the covering plates for the ventilator slots and now the CD-ROM drive that really no one uses anymore but it's nice to have the uh, power supply and now let's find out if I did a good job the light comes on and now it should boot sounds horrible Well, at least it is still working. Um, now let's uh, give the processor something to do. Yeah, that doesn't sound uh, anything better. Actually, it might sound even worse. So I better go look for uh, some replacement fans. They shouldn't be too expensive. But hey, at least they are uh, clean now. And I will definitely use this laptop uh, to try and edit this uh, video that I just shot. See if I can get some experience with uh, using this laptop in the old barn. Anyway, I guess uh, you might see me back in the new year with another little shit show. Let's see and uh, listen what happens when I stick in a screwdriver. So it is definitely the uh, processor ventilator that is making all of the noise. So I guess I need to replace that one. I hope I can uh, find one. So the laptop is a Fujitsu Celsius H700. Now let's go to eBay and see if I can uh, find a cheap replacement.